So today, footage was released from the body cams of the attack at Nancy Pelosi's home on her husband, Paul Pelosi. I know there have been a lot of conspiracies about this, and I, I mean, I believe a lot of them, uh, about what actually happened, but I have to say this footage is incredibly sympathetic. Paul absolutely looks like a victim. It looks hostile from the second the door is opened, and I would not believe that the person in the video was Paul's friend. You can watch. Hi. Drop the hammer. Um, nope. Hey, 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 hey. What is going on here? Here's my thing. If this video was going to be so completely flattering to the Pelosi's, why did they lose it? Because if you remember, the security cameras didn't work at the Pelosi home. The cops lost the body cam footage. The 911 call was also lost for a while and then they found it. And that was also flattering. So now you release this three months later and it totally vindicates Paul Pelosi and makes him look like a victim. And I'm like, how am I even supposed to believe this now? For all I know, they cast actors and refilmed the whole thing. As a side note, the strung out drug addict, a little bit fat for this part. I've never seen a liberal with as much power as Nancy Pelosi to allow a story like this to just stay under the radar and all these conspiracies grow. And when they have literal footage that redeems them, like that never happens. And maybe I'm just jaded because the fake news lies to us all the time, but something really weird about that. I don't know. What do you think?